Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to Live and Five Show, where we are living live. Where we are living live. I'm Jimmy Tang. And I'm Alexis Lopez. What's your fastest smile? I bet this person can beat that. How, how did I mess up on it? And let's look back on the life of Lakers' greatest coach, Bill Jackson. Stay tuned for more. Will it be raining this weekend? All of this and much more. Don't blink. Welcome back, and now to the news. Did you know that students at the middle school, high, middle school with the highest percentage of completed TDAP immunizations completed by June will be entered into a drawing contest for a new iPod? Right now, Tesla is not in the lead, but we can do better. Turn in your immunization to the nurse as soon as possible. The, there will be an afternoon clinic at Tracy High School on Tuesday, May 24th from 3 to 6 p.m. If you don't have a health plan, you must bring your shot record and a parent. Show your children pride. Let's be 100%. Are you interested in joining AVID next year? Well, Gara and their Tisha High AVID applications are due to the student office tomorrow. Don't miss out. Turn the application in now. Any 7th graders interested in going to D.C. next year, please see Ms. Corrigan. If you sign up now, you will pay at this year's price. Tab and Arrow book order forms are due next Tuesday. Order your summer reading books now. Return the forms to the library or the front office. Peace Builders, there's a meeting at lunch on Thursday. Be sure you don't miss the meeting on Thursday and bring in your peace. All library books are due on, Tuesday, on Thursday, June 2nd. Overdue notices for late library books will be given out on Friday, June 3rd. So in a quick note, finish your books before June hits. What is your fastest mile time? Seven, eight, or nine minutes? Well, if that is your fastest time, it is nothing compared to Patrick Casey. Casey's fastest mile was three minutes and 59 seconds. Dang. He created this new world record in September of last year. At the age of six, he started running on the streets where he demonstrated signs of what he is doing today. It wasn't until high school that he fell in love with cross country. He also ran in track in high school. He stated in track the coaches were a lot more laid back and it made running a lot more fun than just running around all day. Initially, he joined cross country just to hang out with his friends, but soon enough, he developed a passion for running. Patrick Casey is waiting for a challenger that will beat his record. Dang. Hall of Famer coach Phil Jackson confirmed his retirement from his coaching position with the Los Angeles Lakers. He <clears throat> lives with a record of 11 championships and only nine series losses. Jackson has coached many legendary players from Michael Jordan to Kobe Bryant. Jackson left the Lakers in round two of the 2011 NBA playoffs in May. Jackson said to the press, we all know they always come back and get themselves back in the race. The Lakers are going to survive. Kobe Bryant has taken this to heart. He says, I grew up under him. The way I approach things, the way I think about things, not only basketball, life in general, comes from him. Jackson will surely be missed by the Lakers and will always be one of the greatest coaches that the NBA has ever seen. Now it's time for your daily dispatch where Susanna brings you today's top fashion. Hey children, so let's go take out like, some fashion. First we have Aaliyah and Serena. Aaliyah is wearing a pink copper shirt with a black tank top with light blue jeans and flats. Serena is wearing a striped shirt with a design on it. Blue skinny jeans, a brown belt, and black boots. Next is Alicia, Giselle, and Venus. Alicia is wearing a black and white floral shirt 
with black skinny jeans, a leather jacket, and flag. Giselle is wearing a colorful floral with dark blue skinny jeans, a jean jacket, and gray sandals. Venus is wearing a blue and green plaid shirt with denim skinny jeans and black sandals. And last we have is Desiree Rachel and Marcus. Desiree is wearing her web shirt with light blue skinny jeans. Rachel is wearing a black and white shirt with denim skinny jeans. And Marcus is wearing a blue shirt with light blue skinny jeans and black and white vans. That's all for this week. We'll see you next week for our last show. I really like that one pose at the end. Looking at Ted Sauce's calendar, this, week's, this week is ice cream sale. Today, don't forget to go to the Peace Boating meeting at lunch. And tomorrow is a minimum day called Friday. Gart and Artesia Abbott applications are due and Italian ice sales. And that wraps up the ongoing event. Well, now let's go to Victoria Lee with the weather. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Alexis. Before, before I start, I want to give a shout out to Chris Mason. Happy birthday. Oh, okay. And Dion for um, telling me it was your birthday. And also, yeah, today's weather will be partly cloudy but the temperature will be the 70s, so it will stay cool. But for the rest of the week, it will get sunny. Leading on to Wednesday, next week, and all, it will be mostly sunny or partly cloudy. Let's take a look at the map. Um, there's, there's only two windy cities down in New Mexico, and more rain, rainstorms still in the East Coast, and more rain, regular rain up around Seattle. Well, California is still a sunny state. So yeah, let's take a look at the final forecast. Today will be partly cloudy and Sunday will too. Well, we'll be, we'll be clearing up tomorrow where it will be mostly sunny and fully clearing up on Saturday. And the temperature will be in the 70s, so we'll stay warm. Let's bring it over to Dion with the web pole. Hey, I'm Dion Thomas, bringing you the web pole. So today we have James. Good morning, James. Uh, good yeah. morning. How are you? Good. That's good morning. Can you please give me the web pole? How long was the student's softball game on Thursday? Well, here's what you said, Trojans. It was very fun. Another one you guys said, I missed it. Well, be sure to visit us online, lime5show.com to vote. Send your comments to one on lime5show.com, and if it's good, we'll read them. So, James, what do you think? Well, I don't really knew there I didn't really know there was a softball game, so I'm not sure. Well, thank you, James. Well, I, I would like to give a shout out to Chris because it's his birthday and Victoria. Yeah. I'd like to give a shout out to Christian, Jeremiah, Tim, Victor, Sean, Jose. <laughs> Thank you, James. Well, that's all my time for today. I'm signing out. Back to you, Jimmy. Thank you, Dion. It's time to touch knowledge to these daily one. one. Who was the first person to win the gold medal in Winter Olympics? Jerry Seinfeld, Charles Jutra, Charlie Gordon, or Jeremy Fisher? Take five. Oh, I don't really time. know about it. Yeah. This is Jordan. Hey, we're doing the Olympics. Oh. oh, what was that? So the answer is? I don't, I don't know. know the answer. I have a you have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. I feel. There's a test in Burke. Oh, oh, dude. Dude, I studied I for that like hard last night. I, was, I, I spent so much work doing my translation project and I left it at home. Nah. Ah. Anyways, visit our website to watch today's broadcast online at livefireshow.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That's the end of today's show. We'll see you back here tomorrow. No, Aaron.